featured plant is rattlesnake plantain, also known as Goodyear oblongifolia. So this little plant, you'll find it commonly growing in humus or in mosses in dry to moist conifer forests. So you'll notice that these ones here are growing in a clump or a cluster, and that's a common way that these reproduce. So it is very short and has these basal leaves that come out from the center, and it also spreads and grows via rhizomes. So you can see here are the spreading rhizomes coming out the side of the plant. So this is how it, it reproduces vegetatively and spreads and forms new little colonies of plants all around. So you'll notice that we have a nice little clump of them, and that's because they're growing and spreading because of the rhizomes. They also produce flower stalks. So this one here has a flower stalk that's coming. Uh, it hasn't quite opened yet, but later in the summer these will open to white flowers, and it's in the orchid family, so they'll have flowers that are shaped sort of like an orchid where uh, if you cut them down the middle and put a mirror, they would be reflected. So that's called bilateral symmetry. Uh, the reason this plant is called a rattlesnake plantain is that the leaves sort of resemble the skin of a rattlesnake. You can see how they're mottled green and white. And people, early settlers actually believed that the plant could cure uh, rattlesnake bites, but it can't. <laughs> that was called the doctrine of signs when they thought plants that looked like something would help cure them. So that's a little bit today about rattlesnake plantain, Goodyear oblongifolia.